Why are fans boycotting the Hawkeye miniseries? The serious Marvel mishap. Ace Archer, Clint Barton, made his television debut on November 24th this year in Marvel's most chronologically updated piece of work with the miniseries Hawkeye. But many fans have not only resorted to boycotting the series, but have also taken to social media to express their concerns. You're Hawkeye! Who the hell are you? The issue in question is the use of material from the 2012 comic book Hawkeye, Volume 2, Little Hits, that was written by Matt Fraction and illustrated by David Aja. Despite taking heavy inspiration from David Aja's work, Marvel neither credited him sufficiently in the miniseries, nor did they pay him for his work. Some diehard Hawkeye fans were quick to notice this and looked to Twitter to express their disapproval, some even asking other fans to boycott the series. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. You showed me that you don't need superpowers to be a hero. MCU's relationship with Marvel Comics. Marvel Studios has almost always tried to mold the comic book stories into an entirely new plot for cinematic purposes. But yes, there have been a few films like Captain America, The Winter Soldier, that took heavily after the comics. With the new Hawkeye series, this trend seems to be more pronounced. Fraction and Aja's Hawkeye comics mostly focus on what Clint Barton does when he's not saving the world. He's clearly the most breakable Avenger, and needless to say, he's almost always covered in bandages in the comics. It'll be interesting to see how Marvel gives this vulnerability a funny overtone. Now, Marvel's Hawkeye miniseries is relying a bit more than usual on the comics, and that's essentially the reason behind this controversy. So Kate is helping you with an Avengers level threat? He's my partner. It's kind of a stretch. The controversy. The Hawkeye miniseries draws immense inspiration for its marketing and design of the show from David Aja's work. Several story beats and themes seem to have been retained from the comics, but the aesthetics are what fans and David Aja are most concerned about. Let's take a look at the cover for Hawkeye, Volume 2, Little Hits, and compare it with the poster for Hawkeye. Take a look at the downward arrow in the background with the cityscape in the two images. Then there's the font style used in either of the posters. Most importantly, the pose of Hawkeye himself with the knocked arrow. The similarities are uncanny, but all David Aja received for his work was a special thanks mentioned in the credits of the miniseries. Fans are clearly outraged about this mishap. In fact, David Aja took to Twitter to express his displeasure and tweeted, The Scarlet Scandal. But this is not even the first controversy that Marvel has found itself involved in. Earlier this year, Scarlett Johansson had filed a lawsuit against Disney for breach of contract because they released the 2021 film Black Widow on Disney Plus while it was still being played at the theaters. This was bound to take away her share of earnings from the box office receipts. The lawsuit had created massive ripples in Hollywood and served as an example to artists who dared to stand up for their rights when they felt they were not getting what they deserved. However, it seems that the controversy has been put to rest with Marvel Studios and Scarlett reaching a solution. That being said, it is uncertain if Scarlett will reprise her role as Black Widow, but Kevin Feige has confirmed that Scarlett will serve as a producer in an upcoming top secret Marvel project. The way forward. However, this does not conclude the unfortunate saga regarding David Aja and the remuneration he expects for his 2012 work for the Hawkeye comics. Knowing that Marvel, and by extension Disney, is a brand that takes negative publicity very seriously, they might decide to write the artist a check, but that wouldn't really solve the larger issue. 
In fact, according to one website, Disney is in conversation with David Aja about the money. So moving forward, Disney should live by the words, prevention is better than cure, and ensure that it doesn't get involved in such controversy and create a healthy environment for people who work behind the scenes. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. This one. You'll have to say definitely like that. Holy sh! There are arrows more dangerous than that one? Oh.